All right, I want to talk about 2023 quickly, and then I'm going to get into uh, 2024. So just a quick uh, look back at the temperatures. Uh, the average temperature, that's the average of the high and the low, was 69.7. That makes uh, 2023 the second warmest uh, year on record. The warmest was 2017. Then you look at the, the average summer temperatures. Again, the average of the high and the low during June, July, and August, meteorological summer. It was the third warmest summer on record. The first warmest, 2011. The second warmest, 1980. I mean, I know I'm a broken record. I talk about these two summers all the time, but now uh, the summer of 2023 will go down in the history books. The number of triple digit days, Look at that, the fourth most, 55. The first most was 2011 when we had 73 and the number of 80 degree lows. I, I, I don't personally don't really mind the triple digit heat, but, but this right here, that stinks. When it's 82, 80 degrees or whatever it is, 83 in the morning, we had 47 of those, the second most. The first most was 2011, that summer of 2011. We had 55 that year. And what about rain? Of course, it was a dry year. 2023 rainfall was 29 and a third. Where we ended up below normal by seven and three quarters. It was the 41st driest year on record. At least, I mean, at least it wasn't the top 10, but the driest year we've had since, uh, this, uh, since uh, 2014, when we only picked up a 21 and a third. The rain has been a welcome sight tonight. Pretty steady stuff to the east east of the Dallas Fort Worth area. The big batch has shifted east right on schedule overnight. Nothing more than a couple of sprinkles and spotty showers. But by sunrise tomorrow, right around seven, we'll have clouds, but it will be dry for the morning commute tomorrow. Look at this. There's a two, three, four in the afternoon. We start to clear out late in the afternoon with a little bit of sunshine coming out. And then our rain, uh, we had round one today. Wednesday and Thursday are dry. Round two, Thursday night, Friday, ending Friday night, dry Saturday and Sunday. In our third round, that happens on Monday. So let me walk you through the day tomorrow. Remember, we have clouds around as we head through the day. Late in the day, the sun starts to come out. Our next system, that's the fr Thursday night, Friday system. Thursday, 7 p.m., here comes the rain. It's around through the day on Friday. It ends as we head through Friday afternoon, unless the system slows down or it speeds up. That could change the timing, of course. But right now, it's out of here by Friday night. And then we have a little bit of cloud cover around to start Saturday. The sun comes out Saturday. We'll have some sunshine on Sunday. We start to cloud up Sunday night. Widespread rain on Monday. There's 7 o'clock Monday evening. Uh, all the frozen stuff stays north of the Red River in Oklahoma. That's snow and also some sleet. Maybe a little bit of freezing rain in those locations, but not down here in Texas. And then that moves out. So how much more rain will we pick up? On top of what we've had today, round two and round three, the total for the three rounds, could see an inch, inch and a half or so. Lighter amounts west of Fort Worth and some higher amounts down here in southeast Texas. An inch and a half, maybe two inches there. Tonight, the rain ends cloudy, chilly. 41's a low tonight during the day tomorrow. A mostly cloudy day, except late in the day, the sun, you know, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, we'll start to see some sunshine. Light winds and cool, dry, 53. That's high tomorrow. There's the next 14. There's round two on Friday, round three on Monday. In between that, it's the weekend. Saturday and Sunday look nice. Saturday 55, Sunday 60, and then the final seven of the 14-day forecast. There it is. A couple more chances of rain. Friday, January 12, Saturday, January 13. Uh, so multiple chances of rain over the next 14 days. No severe weather. We'll have to watch Monday, but right now, no severe weather and no snow, sleet, or freezing rain. And that Monday system, all the frozen stuff right now appears as though it will stay up in Oklahoma. So that's good news for us.